Debbie with Kip's Corner. Welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. Thanks for joining me. This is the flip through of one of my Once Upon a Time journals. These are design team projects for Tracy Fox Creative. She's Love Junk Journals on Etsy, but her kits are also available on our website, and I'll put both of the links below. And the name of the kit that I used is called Once Upon a Fairy Tale. And then I started this. <laughs> A really long time ago, um, right after the kits came out, and and I was just taking my time. I was going to be nine small signatures. I mean, it was going to be a, a hefty journal, but the more I got into it, the more I realized that it was going to be like a six-inch spine or something ridiculous, and I decided that's not what I wanted to do, so I split them. So... This journal has five signatures. This one has four. This is actually the, the second one. This is the one I split off. And so I'm going to do this flip through um, tomorrow. So I'll post the videos one day after. I'll post the second flip through video a day after this one. <laughs> so ah, this is the first one. Um, these will be available on my Etsy shop. And I will put, put them live at the same time that the videos go live or roughly all right so here we go so this is the first one i did not put a, a closure um per se on this i just have some sari silk wrapped around this gorgeous sari silk and um it there was no reason i mean this thing is perfectly perfectly flat and lies nice and flat so I didn't I just never I just didn't put a closure on it it was going to be kind of hard with this hard wood but here's the front um this is chipboard um brick some just some I don't know what those are called from Finnebar this is a window frame from Tim Holtz that I have completely altered and added crackle on it or crack crack paste colors this is also from Tim Holtz, and I kind of did some of the same colors and same techniques there. This is a printout that I had, and it's got the frosted crystals on top. The background, it has a stencil and some other textures. And the back is more of the stencil and the textures. So, um, yeah, uh, metal corners, <laughs> metal corners. And then the spine is, this is, I went ahead and did a hard spine on this, and this is a suede. So you open it up. There's not a pocket on the inside because I, I kind of just did the whole thing together. Um, so we start with Little Red Riding Hood. And so this is, the tag is from the kit. This kit of Tracy's is kind of a, it, I think it is mostly tags with, with, you know, other little pieces. So it would make a great tag journal. Um, but I decided to do a journal journal. And so this is some stenciling in the back. And then just some paper. I like to put extra writing paper. This is Little Red Riding Hood and a little vocabulary card that says walk. It's tucked on there. And these are from Ledger's. Um, old ledgers i don't know what year uh tea dyed paper this is a printout from a kit i had a digital kit i already had this is um this is from tracy's um tattered paint i think is the name of it here's a little envelope here this is from the once upon a fairy tale kit the little imps uh picture is and then the envelope is from a different kit of hers. So, <laughs> and I've just got that wrapped. And on the inside is a little journal card. And it's um, Little Red Riding Hood visiting grandmother. And then you've got writing on the back or space to write on the back. So that just goes in there, flips around. And then I just kind of tucked it under like so and that's just clipped in there so you can take it out and write in the journal this is a wallpaper sample 
And you can get the see the staples are, are still here. <laughs> this is a, an image that I think I had that one already with just some lace and some buttons. And then this is light enough to write on too. Whoops. And there's the back half of the journal. Ledger, ledger. And here is, this was made from a mini photo album page. Um, and so that's the, the, the wolf back there in the back. And it's a pocket and you slide it out. This is a little card and this image is in the kit. And it's got ledger paper on the back so you can write on it. And there we go. And that's Little Red Riding Hood. The next, I'm not really sure what fairy tale this is, but the King's Messenger came to mind. And so that's kind of what I went with. And so there's a little scrolls here. And there he is, handsome young man. And then this just ties, and it's like a gate that opens. I'll tie it back real quick. And then this, uh, this is a rusted paper clip and it has been, um, it has been uh, coated with glossy accents. And this is an envelope with just some tea bag paper cut out here in the middle. And then when you open it up, if you can get it out, is, is the night. And that's just a card that you can write on. And that just slips right in there under the paper clip. This is handmade paper. And this is from a fairy tale book and it said, Three days and three nights thinking on my throne. This is from another kit. And this is also from Tracy's Tattered Paint Kit. There's more ledger paper. And that ink blob was already there. That's from 1896. More coffee dyed. And this is a book page from a German book, so I have no idea what it says. But it's beautiful. It's got gorgeous foxing on it. And, of course, that font is gorgeous, too. And I thought it went, I don't know, just felt like it went well. <laughs> Here's a pocket. Am I in? Yeah. Um, and in the pocket, I've got a tag of the knight. He was also, the king's messenger was also one of his knights. And then this is a map. There's a little bit of gold foil on here and just some sewing. And then this, <laughs> I thought this was funny, delivery memorandum. So if he's, you know, he's delivering messages and it's got some beautiful coloring on it. So I just tucked that back there in the back. More writing space, there's lines on that. More tea dyed paper and a ledger. And that is, I think, whoop, nope, one more. And then this is another pocket that has a letter, a legit letter in it. Um, from my ephemera stash is from 1895. The handwriting on this is absolutely gorgeous. And then another tag of the messenger tucked in the little pocket there. All right, and then we get to the dragon. When I was working on this, I kept thinking of the song Puff the Magic Dragon, and it says, um, Jackie Paper brought him strings and sealing wax and other fancy stuff. And so that's kind of where they're, why there's string back here, and you'll see um, a little more of that. <laughs> and the brads and the gold, that's fancy stuff. Um, here's the dragon. I think I worked on that on um, in a video. And then I just have a little, this is a Russian vocabulary card, and it says wonderful. Oops. And then here's the full dragon. This is a pocket. Um, it looks like I forgot to put something in it. Let's see, here's a vocabulary card here. We can touch this vocabulary card in there. That says book. And then this is fabric in the background that was used um, just in playing with some jelly printing on fabric just to test it out. This is tea bag paper. And then there's also some um, metallic ink, on, um, Gilder's wax paste in patina. 
around the edges and a little bit more on the fabric as well. And then the background is a paper that was left over from some jelly playing, jelly print playing. This is a handmade paper with inclusions in it. I thought it worked well there. And this is um, a handmade paper. I, <laughs> I don't know where it's from. I just know that I had gotten it in a, in a pack with a couple of these pieces um, at an estate sale. And I thought it just worked really well with this. And then I've got a little miniature um, flashcard to attach here. Writing space. And this is sort of the dragon's... This is the little town he can see from up in his lair. And this is him, this is up in his, the mountain where he, where his lair is. And so, or at least that's what I'm saying. And so I thought that just went nicely there. And then here's another pocket. This is another dragon that I had. And here's the sealing wax. So I put a wax seal on here with strings. So again, um, you know, strings and sealing wax and other fancy stuff. And then this is a tag. Um, I've got a, a hinge on the top, a really lightweight, grungy hinge with some brads. And I, you can see the brads here on the back side. Lots of writing space here. And then this is a print from, um, from a printout kit from uh, Patty Lang at Sacred Mementos. And I thought that just looked kind of like his, you know, this looks a little bit like fire. And this looks like the opening to a cave where you're seeing out. Um, and so I just thought that went well with Mr. Dragon. Okay. And there's the back of those papers. The back of that. And then Pinocchio. And so Pinocchio has, let's see, this is a fabric tape measure. This is um, old book page. Um, this is from the spine of a book. A little paper clip here with some fabric on it. Some wire just tangled around and sewn on, just kind of tacked on in a couple places. Um, and this tag is part of the tag from Tracy's kit. Put some tea bag paper in here. More ledger paper more tea dyed paper. This is a wood grain. I think this might be from Tim Holtz. Um, I just thought the wood grain went well in here. And then here's a little pocket. This has a wood grain um, embossing um, in the back here. And then a Pinocchio guy that was from mine. A little fabric with some sewing on here. And then in here I just have um, a leather tag. It's from the trading company in Mercantile. So that's where I think just Giuseppe got his um, parts and pieces. And this is a ticket stub from a show that um, Pinocchio was performing at, I think. <laughs> There's the center spread, lots of fun um, space there. And then back here is another uh, pocket. This is also, this is Giuseppe and he's sad. And then back here we have another Pinocchio with a uh, Russian vocabulary card that says honest. And then here he is. And those are just tucked into that pocket. If I can get it back in there. Like that. And there's the back half of those papers. And then here is another tag from the kit from Tracy. This is handmade paper in the very background and just some fibers and, and more of the wire and uh, paper fasteners. So just, just a fun little grouping. And then the last one in this book is a Dorothy from Wizard of Oz. And so here I've got a nail and a washer that I think, you know, blew in with, with the, um, with the tornado and just some fibers and pieces back here sewn, and that's kind of representing the yellow brick road. I thought this this handmade paper would be great to include in here. It's um, got inclusion in, inclusions in it, I can't talk. And the inclusions look like little pieces of wood, you know, like from a house that had blown away. More ledger paper, 
And then here, these are in the kit. These are her red ruby slippers. And um, I put crackle paste from Tim Holtz on top of those just to give them a little, there, there's some sparkle there, but then there's some cracking. So I thought that was fun. And then this um, yellow brick road going to Oz's castle. This is covered, uh, the, the brick part has uh, vintage beeswax embossing glaze on it. So it has kind of a yellowy tint to it. There you go. And so we have gloss. And then this has a tag. You gotta have the witch in there. So this is the Wicked, Wist, Wicked Witch of the West. And then in the spread here, just a little image with the scarecrow, a little button here, um, some fibers. Um, that's that, I just thought that that worked well there. <laughs> and then there's lots of room to write in. There's more ledger. Here's the back of that handmade paper. And then back here in the back, we have the tornado image and a little, I don't remember what her, Toto, <laughs> I almost forgot. Toto is here on a, a, a tag that I made and Toto is in Tracy's kit too. And then this postcard, this is a vintage postcard. I, it's not used, so I don't have a date, but it looked kind of like, um, it's actually from Massachusetts, but not Kansas, but it looks like where Dorothy's homestead, original homestead is. And so I thought that put that in there as a reminder to her to get home. And then here's the back and um, my little fabric tag back here that just says it was created by Kip's Corner. So that is Once Upon a Time. It's, oh, I should measure it. <clears throat> The, um, the hardboard on front is mm, about five and seven eighths, so not quite six inches, and about eight and three quarters tall. And then the spine, it's a two, let's see, what is that? About a two and a quarter inch, yeah, it's about, about a two and a quarter inch spine. And then the inside is the inside front and back cover is this is all fabric and it's kind of a quilted uh kind of quilted machine stitched fabric it's really pretty yeah there you go and that's that that is once upon a time journal one so i will be back um like i said i'll put this on etsy Click on the description box below. You'll get all the links to Tracy's pages, this kit, um, her website, and a link to follow the rest of the design team and all of the good stuff. And then I will be back tomorrow with the second Once Upon a Time journal. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.